Hello guys, how are you all doing? My name is Rob of Rule of Two Review and welcome back. So today's quick story is really exciting for myself as a Call of Duty fan, as a Nintendo fan, and as somebody who's actually been predicting this rumor, of course, heavy emphasis on the word rumor, for a very long time. And while I've always said that I don't necessarily have to be right when I make predictions or care about being right, that doesn't mean it doesn't feel good when predictions I make have turned out to be true. And that's definitely happened some of the time as well. I probably have about a 50-50 average as far as getting predictions right and wrong, so, you know. But anywho, let's go ahead and get into the thick of this. Of course, a reminder, this is a rumor, that stuff always has to be emphasized, but, uh, you know, you've heard me talk about this before. I like talking about rumors that I think are interesting, or that I think have enough merit or traction to be believable enough, or at least to be something that's interesting to dissect the possibility of. There are a lot of rumors and things that happen out there, like the recent Nintendo E3 League, for example, that really make no sense to discuss because I think there's almost no validity to them. This one, I think, feels important, feels possibly real, falls in line with what I've thought was going to happen anyway, and so I think it'll be really fun to discuss, and plus, like I said, I like Call of Duty, so I want to talk about it. So, of course, as you all know, earlier today, a big story started to break about rumors of the next Call of Duty, and there were two huge key pieces of information coming out of this rumor about the game. The first is that it would actually be Black Ops 4. This, of course, will be Treyarch's next game, their entry in the Call of Duty sort of cycle, where there's three different teams, Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer, and Treyarch, all making different Call of Duty games on a rotational cycle. And they are known, most recently, for the Black Ops games, those first three games, which are all very, very good. And so that's the big thing is, okay, they are going to be making yet a fourth Black Ops game. And then the other big thing is that apparently... The rumor is stating that it will indeed be coming to the Nintendo Switch, and oh my god, that has me so pumped. So this broke from a tweet from Marcus Sellers, who a lot of you guys might know. He's a pretty prominent video game personality and journalist and somebody who talks about a lot of stories and is sort of involved with a lot of these things. And this is what his tweet reads. Call of Duty 2018 is Black Ops 4 and is coming to PS4, Xbox, PC, Switch. It is set in modern times and is boots on the ground. The Switch version will support DLC, HD rumble, and motion controls. The Switch version is also being ported by a company which is familiar with Call of Duty games. So boom, there you go. That is the tweet that basically set this whole thing on fire from Marcus Sellers. And it seems to have been picked up by a lot of sites and a lot of different personalities who cover video games and stuff. So it's not like that necessarily confirms, oh, this has to be true, obviously, because Marcus Sellers tweeted it and because other websites are reporting it. But like I said, when certain kinds of traction picks up on certain kind of rumors, it certainly starts to feel real. And a lot of times those things do turn out to be true. Now, just as far as my thought and opinion on this being true, I really do truly rest on the 50-50 camp. Yes, I'm willing to believe this because this makes so much sense for reasons I'll get into, but there's also a huge chance that this isn't true. I mean, I think Activision would be smart to make Call of Duty come to the Switch. It's why I think that it's probably going to happen and why I've been predicting it and why I do want to believe this, but there's also just as much of a chance that they still have their heads up their butts and they don't know what to do as far as supporting the Switch or they're afraid to invest the time and money to make a good port of this game on the Switch. So maybe it doesn't happen and... I mean, hey, there's not a lot of really information or sources from this tweet. It's just a guy who talks about video games makes a tweet that, hey, it's coming just because I say so because I probably have seen it somewhere. So so there is that. There are, of course, a lot of other pieces of information and leaks that have come out stating that maybe the next game isn't going to be Black Ops. And, you know, that also could make a lot of sense to me as well. So it's hard to break that down, even if you step away from the Switch part of this rumor. Is even the Black Ops part of this rumor true? It may, it may be true, it may not be true. It may be coming to Switch, it may not be coming to Switch. But of course, I want to discuss the possibility of if it is coming to Switch and why that does make sense. So like I've already stated, I've been predicting Call of Duty coming to the Switch for months and months. I mean, probably sometime after summer last year, you know, when we really had the confirmation that Call of Duty World War II was not going to be coming to the Switch, I was like, you know what? That's fine. That makes sense. You know, they were a little bit shy and coy about bringing some big series over to the Switch because they didn't know how it was going to do. Now it is lighting the world on fire. The sales are through the roof. It's breaking records. Everyone is buying them. Everyone who has one loves them. Companies are loving putting their games on the console because they're selling so well. So, okay, World War II is not coming to the Switch, but mark my words, the next Call of Duty, 2018's game, 
will come to the Switch. I certainly believe there's a huge possibility. So that's why this makes a lot of sense. Not to mention the fact that Call of Duty, oh my goodness, feels just so right and so perfect for the Switch. And of course, they're stating it's going to have all the DLC, which has never truly happened with a Nintendo Call of Duty game before. And if it has things like, you know, the zombies modes and just all the online and multiplayer sort of features that we all want, it could just be so incredible and it could do really well and it would just be so much fun. It would be such a blast to have a game like this on the Switch. I mean, look at what happened with Doom. That turned out so well, a super high quality port of a very graphically intense and impressive game that features a very robust online multiplayer sort of competitive mode to it. Why wouldn't the same thing be possible with Call of Duty? It just makes so much sense. And of course, we have to discuss the fact that Call of Duty does have a decent history on Nintendo platforms. They made like three or four games on the Wii. Once they started making Call of Duty games for the Nintendo Wii because that was selling so well, they had to do something. They made three or four games. I know at least the, the first Modern Warfare, they did the first Black Ops, they did Modern Warfare 3, and I think there's a fourth one that I, I can't think of. But at least those three, if not also a fourth Call of Duty game. And then, of course, Black Ops 2 launched on the Wii. Wii U and Call of Duty Ghosts also came to the Wii U and I'm a fan of both of those games I thought that they were fantastic on the Wii U I played them to death on that console and so you know hey Activision and the Call of Duty name has a history on Nintendo platforms and they've all done okay none of them have done fantastic if we're being honest I think the first Call of Duty Modern Warfare sold over a million copies on the Wii as far as the other ones I'm not sure the two on the Wii U did okay, a couple of hundred thousand, which isn't as great as it probably should have done for those quality ports, but it is what it is. The Wii U was just not a good, not a, not a, not a successful machine. So we can believe that Activision would be willing to, I think, cross that threshold again. That's what that tells me. And, you know, there is also something weird about this, though. I find the use of the boots on the ground thing kind of strange. And I know that Activision was really big about the whole, quote, boots on the ground sort of sort of tagline for World War II because they were trying to get it back to the to the to the uh, period piece era and not like the modern or the future era. And like, I get that. And I know what the boots on the ground is supposed to mean, but I feel like that doesn't apply to everything, mostly because in a weird way, it does apply to everything. I mean, every Call of Duty game is boots on the ground. It's, it's you're just putting people in matches and it's a bunch of guys running around and they're shooting each other. And I know that with the modern stuff, you got into like the jetpack thing and like the boosters. And that's probably what they're trying to say is it's not going to have that kind of stuff in it. It's just going to be using your feet to run around the map. But to me, I don't know. It's... It's just kind of a silly phrase because even if there's even if there is jetpacks, you're still mostly running around the map. So I find it weird that the boots on the ground thing is being used so heavily with this stuff nowadays. But whatever. I mean, the point is we might be getting a Black Ops 4. It might be coming to the Switch and it will hopefully support everything like all the multiplayer modes and DLC. And just mark my words, if Activision is being this smart and is really delivering on this prediction I've had and giving us Call of Duty on the Nintendo Switch, it is going to be a hit. And Activision is going to realize, just like Bethesda and other companies that have been jumping on board, man, there's something to this. The Nintendo gamer does care about these kinds of games. They are there for us to want to appease and satisfy and give these gaming experiences to. And they're also there to buy our games and give us money. And let's be honest, that's what all of these companies want, is they want our money. But... If they're giving us quality product, I don't think there's anything wrong with us giving giving us giving them our money. I think that that's a completely fine thing to do. That is how the you know business and consumer relationship is supposed to work anyway. So I know we get caught up in the greedy, crappy companies with the really you know unfortunate scandals that are kind of scummy. But sometimes it can be just what it is. And here's a quality game, and give us your money, and you know a nice exchange has happened, and everyone is happy. Of course, I state this as a Call of Duty fan, and you know not everyone is a Call of Duty fan, and that is okay. I happen to be a fan of Call of Duty because as much as I like my complex games or my fun Nintendo platformer games, I also like my dumb mindless shooters. I mean, I think that there's nothing wrong with that. They they satisfy that part of my gaming life quite well. So I love Call of Duty. 
And when you think about Call of Duty coming to the Switch, here's the thing, here's the last point I'll make kind of before wrapping this up. Whether you love Call of Duty or you hate it more than anything you've ever hated in your entire life, one thing has to be acknowledged and admitted here, and that's that Call of Duty matters. It is an important series, it's a franchise that makes a difference and it makes an impact, and not having it on your platform, no matter what your platform is, is potentially damaging, or at least not very good and shows that you might be missing out on something huge and important, and that could only aid in your success. So to see it come to the very and incredibly successful Nintendo Switch at this point where it's still just building and building momentum would be a huge win for Nintendo and for Switch owners and Switch fans. And for Activision, like I was just saying, everyone would win in this situation if it plays out this way. So again, if you're a Nintendo fan or a Switch fan, or if you're a Call of Duty hater and you want to say, oh, Call of Duty's dumb, so I don't want it on the Switch, it would just be bad, you're thinking pretty selfishly, because think about what Call of Duty means. It means more gamers, it means more success, it means more sales, and it means people who like both the Switch and Call of Duty become very happy because they get both together, and that's me. Switch is my favorite console, Call of Duty is a, is a series I love, and I want those things put together, I want Call of Duty on my Switch, and that's just how I feel, and I think how a lot of people will feel. So, that's pretty much it, you know? It'll be interesting to see what happens. Like I said, I think there's a 50-50 shot of this being true. I, w I tend to believe this being true, but at the same time, hey, it might not be true and maybe nothing comes of it. And it was just a made-up story just to get some attention on Twitter. So, I guess we'll see, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. Does this excite you? Does this not excite you? Do you believe this? Do you not believe this? Share your thoughts and opinions on Call of Duty coming to the Switch this year below. And that is it for me. Thanks, as always, for tuning in, guys. This is Rob of Rule of Two Review, and I will catch you next time on another video.